Today's reading is a general reading for the collective, a message that you need to hear at this moment in time. Oshun is one of the most beloved and sought after Orishas in the Umbanda and Kandambal religions. Affectionate and sensitive, children of Oshun are known for being whiny, empathetic, and dramatic, as a mother is with her children. Before knowing the main characteristics of her children, let's get to know the so called Mother Oshun, syncretized with Our Lady of Conception. Oshun is one of the most beautiful goddesses there is. Her beauty sets her apart from all the others and her sensuality leaves anyone unable to react. Her beautiful body, unique arms and terrifying legs are her strong points. Her great beauty and vanity made her even better known in the world of the Orishas. She is the queen of all rivers, waterfalls and lakes, as her main element is fresh water. In addition, she is still known as the queen of all rivers, there is even a river called Oshun in southwestern Nigeria. How to know if I am a child of Oshun? To find out if you are a child of Oshun, you need to delve into religion, whether in Umbanda or Kandambal. One father of saint or one mother of saint will be able to guide you, show you which are the characteristics that stand out in your personality and which are the main brands of each Orisha and which one you are most similar to. However, only you will be able to find out who your spirit guide is. It is that guide who will drive you, who will make your heart beat faster and who makes up your essence. But remember, you don't need to have all the characteristics of Ocean to be her child. Children are never exact copies of their parents, they just inherit some qualities and some of their flaws as well. Characteristics of Ocean's children They adore luxury wealth and comfort. Oshun's children attach great importance to money and wealth. They like to always be surrounded by expensive things. In addition to having possessions, they like to show them off to other people. They are people who are attracted to jewelry, designer clothes and things that bring comfort to their lives. They are very vain and in some cases, they are even futile and self-interested when it comes to money. They like everything that is good and expensive, even if they don't have the financial means to do so. Their instinct always pulls them towards whatever is more expensive. That's why they love the golden color, the color of gold. If you like to show off, to show off your achievements and your expensive material goods, it is likely that you are a child of this fabulous Orisha. They place a lot of value on people's opinions. Whoever has Ocean as a guide is always worried about what others will say. Public opinion of themselves is important to them. They like to maintain their beautiful reputation so they always act with discretion and diplomacy. They flee scandals and vexations. They are very determined and strategic. Oshun is the archetype of those who act strategically, who never forget their purpose. Behind her sweet image there is a strong determination and a great desire for social ascension. They are people who set goals and never give up. When they want something, they fight for it with all their might and do everything in their power to get it. They devise effective strategies, manipulate those who need to be manipulated and do everything to achieve their goal. They have an intense sex life. They tend to have an intense sex life, but with a lot of discretion, as they hate scandals. As they are very flirtatious, they find it difficult to maintain loyalty to their partners. They are fickle in love, but when they want a person by their side, they fight until they get them. They are the type of person who attracts and is always pursued by the opposite sex. They arouse jealousy in women and engage in intrigue. They do not despair of impossible passions, no matter how much they like a person because their self-love is much greater. They are too narcissistic to like anyone very much. They are very emotional. They are the most emotional children of all the Orishas. They are known for being whiny and bashful. Children of Oshun have a strong sensitivity. They tend to be very affectionate with their friends and family. They are always concerned about everyone's well-being. They always seek to be accompanied by people of character and give a lot of love to those they like. They have a tendency to gain weight. Ocean's children are usually chubby, as they tend to gain weight. They usually deal well with their appearance because they are very vain, but they need to take care of themselves more, since they are lazy to diet and exercise. They love the pleasures of life and food. In health, care must be taken with high blood pressure, nervous tension, alcohol and drug consumption. Due to their intense sex life, 
care must also be taken not to catch sexually transmitted diseases. People who consume drugs and alcohol in excess are also included as children of this deity. They are welcoming. Ocean's children are always willing to give a hand. They are charismatic and seductive. It is not by chance that the Orisha symbol is a sword to defend her people her children and to cut the paths on earth for its waters to pass. And also the mirror, for her vanity and beauty. They are great fathers and mothers, take good care of their children and are always praised for the upbringing they offer. They like their home, being comfortable in it, and having friends over. They are fair and honest. Whoever has ocean as a guide likes to do things the right way and looks at the means to achieve the ends. They are fair and honest people with all those who deserve their true honesty. Even with these qualities, they are a bit manipulative. They are affectionate and kind. Ocean's children are tender and affectionate, always seeking the company of people of character. They prefer not to impose their opinions but they hate to be contradicted. It takes a lot to make them angry, but when they do, it's also hard to calm them down. It's hard to believe, but the truth is that behind all this manipulation there is a caring and kind person, always ready to help. If you are emotional, tend to cry in various situations, and are kind and very affectionate, you are likely to be part of the circle of Ocean's children. Children of Ocean in love matters. It's not enough for them to be in love. They want to find great love, get married and start a family. They like to do everything by the side of the loved one, going out, going to parties, enjoying life. However, they are very jealous. If you see your partner talking to someone suspicious, you pay attention. They are very possessive and cannot imagine sharing that specific person with someone else. In love, they can get momentarily blind and in this period not realize if the person suits them or not. Therefore, they should not be hasty when choosing a partner, as marriage for Ocean's children is very important and they should be given time to get to know each other better. You have a tendency to relive past moments and use your good memory for good times and bad, including reliving past fights and unresolved problems. When single, the son of Ocean hesitates about marriage for fear of being disappointed. Oixam's daughters in love are always looking for someone to fill them completely. When she finds him, nothing will separate her from him. Type I am powerful in the comments. Continue learning, watch this video now.